Praise be to Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Vajnamardam. We all are praying people. We know many definitions of prayer. Prayer is a loving conversation with Jesus. Prayer is listening to the Lord. Prayer is the experience of God. Many, many definitions we know. But there is a beautiful definition in the book of Samuel. Samuel, Samuel chapter 1, 12 to 16. We see Anna is praying. And Yeli, the temple priest, is just observing her prayer. But he thought she might have taken too much wine and intoxicated because there was no sound, only the lips were moving. And then he went and shouted. He's, he said, how long you will show your drunken spectacle? Put out your wine. She says, Lord, I am not a woman like that. I have not taken wine or any strong drink, but I had been pouring out my soul before the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, this is real prayer. Pouring out of the soul before the Lord. If you are a person of prayer, your prayer, you have to pour out your soul before the Lord. Then that becomes the real prayer. And we can convert all our temperament into prayer. You may be sad. That sad experience also we can, we can share as a prayer. You may be so joyful that also you can transform into prayer. You may be in need of something that also you can transform into prayer. You may be feeling uh, repentance that also you can transform into a prayer. So whatever may be your temperament, you can transform into prayer because prayer is a pouring out of the soul before the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, so our prayer time is not 10 minutes or half an hour, or one hour, or two hours, 24 hours. Every moment, experience the presence of the Lord and pour out your soul, pour out your sentiments, feelings to the Lord. That is true. That will be a true prayer. So, whatever may be your temperament, sometimes we may be experiencing some kinds of brokenness in our life. That can be. That can be transformed into prayer. Sometimes we may be suffering a lot. Even that is suffering, pain, we can transform into prayer. When Jesus on the cross, he prayed, Yeli, Yeli, Lema Sadkani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Is it a, a cry of disappointment or desperate? No. It is a prayer, a true prayer, pouring out of the soul before the Lord. Actually, it is a psalm, Psalm 22, 1. When David had terrible suffering, he prayed, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That prayer, after that he made a beautiful psalm, Psalm 22, 1. The same psalm Jesus was reciting when he had undergoing such an excruciating pain. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So, my dear brothers and sisters, whatever may be our temperament, we can transform into prayer. Maybe suffering, maybe joyful experience, maybe some, we are in need of something, everything. So, our prayer time is not uh, half an hour, one hour, or two hours, but 24 hours. Every moment, every experience, Every feelings we can convert into prayer. That is pouring out of the soul before the Lord. That will give you real joy in the heart. Even when you suffer, even when you undergo some kinds of pain, you will have inner joy because when you pour out your soul before the Lord, that will give you real joy. So let us try to convert all our experiences, feeling into prayer, our life will be blessed. 
we shall pray each other and we shall make each moment a time of prayer may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen